The Wall Street Journal recently called Northern Michigan the Hamptons of the Midwest. And you don't have to look any further than Bay Harbor for a perfect example of that. What was once a cement plant is now a luxury resort community on the shores of Little Traverse Bay. Hi, I'm Gino D'Angelo, a local Northern Michigan real estate agent specializing in helping you relocate to Bay Harbor and all of Northern Michigan. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into how much it actually costs to live in Bay Harbor. Now, before we get started, if you wanna see more videos like this and all things Northern Michigan real estate related, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. But before we go over the costs, I wanna talk about the amenities you get while living in Bay Harbor and why so many people are choosing to relocate here. Most of the people I've helped buy in Bay Harbor over the years have come here for a couple of reasons. The most obvious reason why a lot of people choose Bay Harbor is the ability to boat from here to anywhere in the world. Bay Harbor was designed to have a world-class marina as well as a public marina that you can keep your boat and act as your home base in Northern Michigan. As a boater, you're going to love the ability to leave your boat at the dock and enjoy the yacht club. And if you're a transient boater, you're gonna love the public marina where you can leave your boat and hang out in the village of Bay Harbor. One of the biggest draws to Bay Harbor is the Bay Harbor Yacht Club. The Bay Harbor Yacht Club is truly a one-of-a-kind, world-class club offering a fitness center, spa, and multiple dining options, as well as the quarter deck, which allows you to have a drink or a meal outside. There's tons of activities for adults and kids alike. They have pickleball courts, tennis courts, and you're just a short drive away from three championship golf courses. One of the most appealing things about living in Bay Harbor are just how many different types of lifestyles there are here. With over 20 communities within Bay Harbor, there is truly something for everyone. If you wanna be in the heart of the action, you're gonna love the Marina District. If you want more of a woodsy feeling with large wooded lots, you're gonna prefer the Preserve, which is on the west end of Bay Harbor. And if you want your boat in your backyard where you can walk directly from your house to get on your boat and search the world, you're gonna love the Peninsula or Vista Drive. Now let's talk about what it truly costs to live in Bay Harbor. One of the ways my buyers have determined if Bay Harbor is right for them is by looking at the total cost of living here versus the amenities that they're going to use and deciding if it makes sense. The first major expense that you need to consider is joining the Yacht Club. Out of all the communities, only a couple are exempt from having to join the Yacht Club when you move here. Meaning, if you're moving to Bay Harbor, you're likely going to have to join the Yacht Club. So apart from the cost of your home, the Yacht Club is the next major expense you're going to have to consider. With an initiation fee of $45,000, with annual dues coming in at just under $7,000, we'll also have a $1,000 a year food and beverage minimum that you have to spend at the Bay Harbor Yacht Club each year. And although they're not required, gem cars are one of the most popular ways to get around Bay Harbor. And if you're curious what they cost, you can plan to spend anywhere from twenty dollars to $40,000 depending on if you want a two-seater, a four-seater, a six-seater, and what options you want your gem car to have. Another great amenity when you join the Bay Harbor Yacht Club is the access to this private beach. They have water toys you can rent and even a lifeguard on staff to watch out for the little kids. With as busy as Northern Michigan beaches get in the summer, the Bay Harbor Yacht Club beach is never packed and there's always room for you to enjoy the sand and water. One of the most convenient things about living in Bay Harbor is the downtown Bay Harbor area. With shops, a grocery store, and three great restaurants, you almost never need to leave Bay Harbor to get everything that you need for a living in Northern Michigan. And if you're down here, check out my personal favorite Nomad, which has one of the most unique, ever-changing menus in all of Northern Michigan. One of the newest additions to Bay Harbor in the last few years is the Great Lake Center for the Arts. They have a lot of traveling comedians, musicians, musicals, and children programs throughout the year. Now you're probably wondering what it costs to purchase a home in Bay Harbor. If you're looking for a standalone house, the median sale this year has been just a little over $2 million, with the lowest sale being just a little over $900,000, and the biggest sale coming in at a whopping $13 million. This home had six bedrooms, six bathrooms, and 130 feet of frontage, with a total of over 15,000 square feet. Now, if you prefer a low maintenance condo, the median sale for those has been $635,000, with the highest sale being $4 million for a condo. In addition to the cost of the house and the cost of joining the Yacht Club, you're also gonna have HOA dues. Those can range anywhere from $6,000 per year to $14,000 a year, depending on the community and what amenities those communities have to offer. Also remember that most communities require you to join the Yacht Club 
and some require you to join the Swim and Fitness Club as well. If after watching this video, you would like to learn more about living in Bay Harbor, please call me directly at 231-487-6141. And if anything surprised you about this video, please leave a comment below.